Hey guys, Laura with Center Stage Magazine. Still out here at Bo's Extravaganza. We've been out here all weekend having a great time. I am joined by Byron Cherry. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm just sitting next to the alligator pond and yeah, so, checking my legs make sure I have two of them. <laughs> so if he keeps moving around a lot, he's trying to avoid the gators yeah, that are out I see here in the pond. Right <laughs> he said they saw one the first night they were here was after the golf scramble. Yeah, I thought it was the biggest lizard I've ever seen and yeah, Loretta. My friend Loretta is driving the golf cart around, and I'm like, look at that big lizard. And she goes, Byron, you're in, that's, you're in Louisiana. That is an alligator, Byron. It's about eight foot long. So well, and see, it I, didn't mess I, with us. I told him I wished he hadn't told me that because I hadn't seen any out here so far, and I really, I'm okay with not seeing them. There's a me lot too. of water out here, so but I thought, oh, well, surely they're all cleared out for this. <laughs> what you don't want to see is a water moccasin on your leg. No. Because yeah, they're here, too, wanna, a lot of those. I don't <laughs> want to see that. What are you trying to do to me? <laughs> well, oh, I'm a Georgia boy, born and raised, and I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm the youngest of four boys, and I was raised with snakes, and I really don't mind them, but uh, copperheads, rattlesnakes, uh, I used to have them, my brothers would bring them home as pets, and they knew how to catch them, you know, with oh, a yeah. little, yeah, so yeah. Uh, they used to, one time I was young, probably 10 years old, and they threw a, a black racer in my bed while I was sleeping, about a six foot snake, I was sleeping. Okay, these are my older brothers. So anyway, so I'm a southern, I'm a southern boy. <laughs> so yeah, we are here at Bose Extravagant. I was invited by John, a personal invite, about a couple of months ago, and. Um, I said, I mean, I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. Well, yeah. and you all go back, like, yeah. uh, like the, in 1978, oh, I was still a baby then. I was, was I born then? No, no. <laughs> I, I, I was already born, but um, you guys both auditioned for the yes. for the part of Bo. Yes. And he got the part. 79. How yeah, did 79. that affect the friendship? Oh, actually, the, the truth is, uh, I was up for it, and he wasn't. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. There's Everybody the truth. Everybody knows the truth. Snyder knows that story. <laughs> he, no, he was 18 and lied about his age. I was about 23, and it's a true story. And then uh, the day Warner Brothers, it was me and about five guys up for the part. John was not one of them. And then uh, we're, whoa, we're friends in Atlanta. We had the same agent. Every audition that I went to, uh, John was there. And it's, uh, one of us would usually you know, get the part, I don't know. Yeah. But he, he claims that I got the part more than him. And oh, okay. So we did a show in 2008, we're on stage singing Just a Good Old Boy, and he goes, this guy, my buddy Byron Cherry, not only does his lunchbox sell more for more than mine, because <laughs> they're, they're, they didn't make as many. They really do on eBay, and it's funny, because I collect my oh, lunchbox. you box. have to love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a lunchbox of me on it uh, for a wedding present. To get off the subject, but oh, I opened funny. a box as a, as a greatest. I mean, it was, it was like my first Coin Vance Duke lunchbox, that's and that was cute. Funny. And it's in my kitchen to this day. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, back to the show. <laughs> well, I mean, so you were on for the 82-83 season, right? Correct, yeah, right, as yeah. Coy and cousin Coy and cousin Vance. Yeah. And and so. How did then John comes back and you know take. Spencer. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they came back with a show. Uh, it's funny because John, we stayed in touch the whole time. You know, he yeah. let me stay in his condo when, during the whole audition process. And, um, you know, uh, back in Burbank. So he, he's like, Byron, you're going to get this. I mean, he gave me the most. He was just so powerfully motivating. Like, I'm not getting this. There's no way. What are the chances <laughs> of me getting this? And, uh, but he says, no, you're going to get it. Trust me. So I did get it. But I had like, the audition process was like close to a month. And they, because Warner Brothers would not tell me casting, they kept flying people out from all over the world. So I literally read with probably three, wow. four thousand people <laughs> audition. I mean, I mean, I'm re, you know, like reading with actors that I've watched on TV for years. You know, like just I can't think right now, but it's just a lot of, you know, great actors, and they're reading as the dark-headed guy, as a, for the Vance Duke guy. Yeah. So. Right into our fourth week, they, the Warner Brothers asked to come in. I thought they're firing and sending me home. <laughs> you know, I go out to Warner Brothers. With, I said, Mom, I'll be back in, in two days. I got to do the screen test with Daisy Duke, and I'll see you in two days. And because I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and she goes, Okay, Byron, but just get the part, please. You're so right for that <laughs> that show. And my mom was wonderful. And then uh, so I got it. So two days turned into uh, I stayed there. You know, went right into production after about about a month. 
and then uh, but so the producers called us in and had champagne they're like you got it <laughs> you're on I went what got what <laughs> <laughs> what I, what? I forgot yeah. Yeah, it's been so long yeah. <laughs> I know. So, so it was a blessing and it's amazing working with those guys Denver Pyle and Roscoe Pico and you know they passed and my co-star has actually passed away in 2011 and uh Recently, Don Pedro Cali, who played Sheriff Little, passed away, and they're just great, wonderful people. We miss miss them, miss really miss them. Well, so. I'm glad to I'm glad to get the opportunity to meet you and, yeah. and talk with you. Yeah. I mean, I've only gotten a couple words in edgewise, but I was what? warned about that beforehand, and that's yeah. okay. That's all right. I'd rather hear I'd rather hear you talk than me talk. But so what are you up to now? I'm getting ready to jump. Snyder kind of wimped out on the jump. You know, I knew he would. So are you he, doing he it? He asked me to do it for him. Is he being serious? He, he, oh. he can't handle it. Stop. No. I'm like, John, I'm kidding, John. John, I, I, was, kidding. I was like, is he serious? I'm asking, I'm asking over here because I'm thinking, why didn't anybody tell me that? I had to let off with that or something. You're doing the big jump. Actually, John, John did a Snyder. John did a oh. jump yesterday, but the mud had, did, did, did not help yeah, any we, of the races. A yeah. lot of rain, a lot of mud did not help. So, but he did do it. He's he the did, first. He did do it. Uh, cast member, Dukes of Hazard, in the world that jumped uh, uh, generally, and I. I I tell you, he's a brave man. <laughs> he did do it. He did do it. I was I was kind of excited for the big jump, but he did he did yeah. a great job yesterday and had a great crowd cheering him on. I, um, I hear they're bringing in a, a real stuntman. I mean, a guy, oh, okay. a young stuntman that can, <laughs> you know, because I was worried about John now. He, he's my age. I won't tell you what that is. But <laughs> well, let's see. I think we might be able to figure that I, out since we're out here for John's 58th birthday today. His birthday today. today. It is. I tell you John. what, let's end this with you giving him a birthday message. Oh, have a birthday to you. Or singing it to him. <laughs> oh, have a birthday to you. Oh, have a birthday to Bo. <laughs> have a birthday to you. I, I want to know how old you really are, John. I think you're more like 60. Come on, bring it out. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, John. It's awesome. And thanks for the invite. Uh, you're an amazing guy. Love you. Thanks so much, Byron, for spending some time with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. You all make sure you, they can Google you and find out more about you, your yeah, social media. Uh, Google <laughs> Byron Cherry. I hate computers. <laughs> what? He also has a fan page. He has a fan page. Fan page? Come here. <laughs> no, it's not that. We're not using that anymore. No, we're not using that one. No. I had a website, Coy Duke, and that's... You we, know what? I'll tell you what. We'll I will put, I, we will find out. I will put it up at, yes. on this article so you all can find him and then just hound him for not knowing what his social right. media stuff is. Oh, you can uh, <laughs> You can email me for personal appearances, shows. You know, if you'd be interested in me coming out, I do that year-round. Got two films in the work now. So what's that uh, email? Staying busy. It, oh, that. It's a, a <laughs> the T-H-E, Coy Duke, the character, the Coy Duke at gmail.com thank you very much <laughs> thanks so, guys anyway, we're, thanks we'll see, i'm gonna cut him off or we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna see the jump <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>